Hi everyone. Um, Grampy's workshop did put a comment about my rhubarb being big and his being small. Well, the thing is, here this spring, and he was talking about we having snow, still having snow, he doesn't have snow. Uh, over the rhubarb here, guys, we did have like what? Let's say four to five feet of snow so the ground was not that frozen and in this region if he got let's say just a few feet of snow and the ground might have frozen deeper so here the ground was not frozen at all under the snow in this part here so maybe this is why it's more early and uh, another thing we did have a few days that was really warm maybe that's why too and uh, another thing we do have big plants i will explain what we do we've been doing this for years me and my dad so i will uh, explain a little bit and uh, hope it helped you out guys so i will turn my camera around here and explain to you this is two original plants we used to have they're here oh they have since 1970 i think we do we have those plants <coughs> here planted and we always take part of the plant this one is smaller this one is bigger uh, what we did is we removed parts like last year we did remove parts to not last year this one was two years ago and we transplant them guys so this is why you see so much plant here and uh, I'm planning to take this one here remove it completely make like six uh, six plant about it of it transplant them somewhere else and the thing we do is we remove let me show you here we did remove some the seeds the secret of it is remove your seed guys because if you don't remove the seed the energy goes in your seeds so it will throw all in the energy in the seed and you will ending end up having small plants so this is why they're so huge and those are about they're reaching about 10 year old here those this one too is pretty big here and the, some other there and they're about uh, 10 years old too i will show you something here <coughs> We used to have plant here that died because it got too big. And that's it. And there was another between those two there. There was a plant there. It died because too big. And those here too, they're about four or five years old. And here I see another seed here, guys. We did come through this morning and me and my dad and cut them out. You have to remove those. Another thing is we put manure. I did already put manure underneath them and it makes a big difference. Uh, it helps a lot. You need to put uh, some... Uh, we don't put chemicals. I don't believe in chemicals, guy. I use the the plant here. The leaves are poison, but the branch are not. You can heat the, the branch. So I boil the leaves. Use use them as a pesticide for the other plants in the garden. So they're really nice plants to have. And if you want big plant, put some manure cut your seed and we didn't put any water in them because it's been raining 
once in a while here so they're getting pretty big but from now on we will put water and if you keep putting water in them giving them water and cutting all the big branch and leaving the small one the small one will grow and you will have, be able to I've seen picking up rhubarb until the end of uh, July guys sometimes me even middle of August and uh, it was still good because we do put water in them but if you water them you stop putting water they will get a uh, little uh, the inside will get like oh there's another seed here the inside will get like uh, little holes and it will be hard and it will be not uh, good for uh, heating so that's what we do to have big plants so let me turn this around here yeah that's what we do my dad's we're we have those plants like since 1970 and we we do uh, sell those and uh, I'm planning to uh, multiply my plant uh, next year to have oh I if I can get six to eight about this one I will might remove I think I will remove both here the two old one and replant them and put them in the next to the other one over there and try to get like 10 to 12 more plants all we already have about 20 if I remove those two and get them to split them to have 12 more we'll have about 30 plant of rhubarbs and uh, there's a lot of vari variety like I said in my other video depending on the uh, you see it on the leaves we have uh, I think here we have four different kind well I don't think we do have four we have the original one we have the red one here my dad uh, this one here my dad did get this one at the store and the, the inside is red outside is red this one the branch is red and the inside is uh, green this one too is a red one but this one here is sweeter than the other one there and uh, there's a small one there this one I got them from my neighbor and uh, it's said the, it's a good one it's a sweet one I think it's the same as my original one I'm not sure I will see when the leaves get bigger last year it was small like this there were two this one uh, didn't survive this one did survive but uh, it's pretty small so time will tell so thanks again for watching and if you have any question or comments you can you know you something I didn't say about the rhubarbs put that down in comments below and uh, don't forget to click the little bell if you want to know when I post another video so thanks again for watching